hi guys welcome back to my channel so um i know somebody requested this video for me to do the sopa de fideo and the, and the tacos de papa so um it's here guys i have the full recipe for you guys if you guys want to know how to make this just keep on watching all right guys so these are the ingredients for the potatoes and the sopa de fideo so i use these right here you can use any brand it doesn't matter as long as these um these are the potatoes that i'm using tortillas onion tomatoes pepper salt chicken bouillon and then um i'm gonna add cheese in the tacos so this cheese right here i already grated it it's a mexican cheese i'm just not sure what what kind of cheese this is but you can use any cheese of your preference forgot to mention you are gonna need one garlic clove so you're gonna throw that in there and then you're gonna add some oil i'm gonna use about that much so i'm gonna kind of just toast up this um garlic clove a little bit and then i'm gonna add in the sopa i'm gonna make the salsa for um the fideo soup so you're gonna need about four tomatoes Make sure you guys wash them. I'm just gonna cut them in half. And then you're gonna cut half of your onion. And then you're just gonna cut that half, just a half of the half you're gonna throw in there. And then you're gonna grab your chicken bouillon. I usually don't measure guys, I just add as I go. So I'm going to get about maybe this much and just like another half of a tablespoon. And now that your garlic is toasted, you're going to drop it in your blender. I'm going to add about that much water. Now you're going to taste it. Make sure it doesn't need any more chicken bouillon seasoning. It's good. So you're going to set that aside. You're going to drop in your fidel. And with this, guys, you're going to wait for it to get toasty. And then for your potatoes, you can use any ones you guys want. I just have these right now. I usually peel my potatoes, but I don't have a peeler, so I'm just going to put them in like that. You can use about eight potatoes. And make sure you guys rinse your potatoes really well. So you're going to kind of see your fidel kind of getting, ch well, changing color. That's how you know they're getting a little toasty. Make sure, guys, you guys do not burn your fillet, okay? So it should be like this color right here, a little bit dark. So now that that's done, you're going to pour in your sauce that you made. Kind of mix it around. And I am going to add some more water. In the same um, blender, I'm going to add about this much water, halfway. And then mix it and then just lower the heat and then I just cover it until it boils so now I'm just gonna cut them in half so they can cook faster and then now when your water is boiling you're gonna drop in all the potatoes be very careful guys because this will burn you I'm gonna just cover these so they can cook faster so now that it's boiling like this, you're gonna try it to make sure it doesn't need any more of that seasoning that we used earlier. I did forget to mention guys, you are gonna need about this much cilantro. You don't have to put this, this is just a preference. Um, I recently started putting cilantro in my rice and my soups and they come out with way better flavor. So if you're all about the flavor, I recommend you to add some cilantro you are gonna cut the stems off and then cut it in three and then just throw it in there all right so you're just gonna throw this in there just like this and then mix it around you just close it with the lid and then you just wait for the soup for the fidel to be ready after i added the cilantro i waited like maybe like 10 minutes and check on your soup and try your fidel make sure it's soft and when it's soft it's ready and then i'm gonna start like picking at my potatoes to see if they're already soft and ready and i'm gonna remove the skin be very careful guys because you will burn yourself 
So I already peeled some of my potatoes. Um, I do recommend you guys peel your potatoes before you guys cook them because this is really hot. I burned my fingers, so just peel them before. If you do not have a peeler, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Get two forks and then kind of just start like peeling it off. I was just using one fork and I burned the fuck out of my fingers, so be very careful, guys. So you're gonna put them on. In there. So now um, I'm gonna use a bean smasher to smash my potatoes, but before I do that, I'm going to add ground pepper. And again, I do not measure, I just add. And then some salt. If anybody has any recommendations on how to make the best mashed potatoes or what else I can add in here, please let me know because I'm down to make some bomb ass mashed potatoes. So now you're just gonna smash them. Or it should look something like this, guys. You're gonna try them to make sure it doesn't need any more salt or pepper, and then they'll be done. Then guys, I'm gonna get some napkins. Grab your tortillas. And then you're gonna grab as many tortillas as you want. I'm grabbing this many. And then just fold them up. You're gonna put them in the microwave for like 60 seconds. And I did forget to mention you do need some toothpicks, guys. All right, guys, so you're gonna get your tortilla, get some mashed potatoes, And then grab some cheese, put it on there, kind of smash it together, and then you're done. I mean, I guess you don't really have to use the toothpicks, but it's on you, because the potato just kind of smashes it together. So now that my um, buckles are already all ready to go we're gonna get a pot it's already hot so i'm gonna add some oil maybe like that much and i use some tongs just because it's easier to flip and with this guys you guys can um you know just kind of check them and see if they're already like ready i like mine's kind of um toasty a little bit so i just let them sit for a while so this is how your little taco should look like these are so good guys really really good trust me you guys got to try these but yeah guys so this is the end result um i promise you this is so so good all right guys and then i just put some salsa over it I just add some chili. All right guys, so that is it for today. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Um, which recipe do you guys want me to cook next? Or whatever you guys want me to cook, comment down below and let me know. And um, yeah guys, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next one. So he is gonna rate this food for you guys. Ten out of ten. Huh? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten? Okay. How about the taco dorado? Bomb.com? No, not ten. Alright, guys. It is a ten out of ten. So, you guys need to make this dish.